Hey guys, welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. I'm setting up some training right now. Yeah. Um, all right, so... So last episode we yes. talked about some of the competitive game theory. Uh, this episode we're going to talk about some of the terminology that goes with uh, games like this. Uh, games like oh, Street yeah. Fighter, mostly... Specifically, in this case, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna specify oh, fighting games in general, but we're gonna hone in on Street Fighter. Yeah. Um, so, in case you missed our last video, or in general, in case you missed the fact that Street Fighter Five just came out, Street Fighter Five just came out. So, uh, hey, we're playing Street Fighter Five, by the way. So, if uh, you are not big into fighting games, hopefully, you will have a new appreciation for them after watching these and learning exactly why people uh, love those love fighting games so much. Yeah. Uh, and where are the controls to make you a person? Um, state, stand, crouch, jump, is status, dummy, a CPU, player, player controlled. controlled. Right there. Boom. It's right there. You Thanks. should hit, hit the start button. No, I don't want to go to main menu. Hit start. I hit lied. the start button. Hit the That's start weird. there. Look, hey, no. look at that. Okay, cool. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we picked some new characters from last time in case you were bored of Ken and Ryu because... Yeah, you know, yeah, it's Ken and Ryu. Those They're are been the every bread and game. butter of characters. Oh. So the reason he's saying that is because this is our first term, right? Yeah. Bread and Actually, butter. The first couple terminologies we're going to go over are the basic fighting game terminologies when you go into a game like Street Fighter. First one, bread and butter. Uh, the combos and special moves and all around feel for the character that make the character who he is. If for uh, Nash's case, he's got the two flash kicks, he's got some of the uh, faster punch combos, he's got the uh, teleport move, and he's got some crazier, some crazy grab and such like that. Yep. For Rashid, all about spinning, comboy, crazy, anti-air, mid-air combo yeah. madness. So he's crazy and fun. When you hear those players use the term bread and butter, it means that at this point, the player community has played enough that they are... They know what combos work very well with a character, and knows become your bread and butter. It's your staple moves is another term to use yeah. for it. So, yeah, um, simple enough. Uh, now, along with those combos and special moves, there are moves that are considered safe. Safe ah. moves are moves that are hard to punish you for using. Um, I'm trying to think of one for Nash. Um, uh, actually, basically, most basic moves are safe. Not your heavy ones, but like, meh, or... Uh, yeah, see, like, okay, do it again. Do it, just, you know, right? It's, he's hitting and I'm trying to, I can't counter fast enough that he can't block back. Mm -hmm. uh, but a non-safe move would be, um, just do it. That probably wasn't the best example, but do, do, like do a combo, do the, do the, uh, oh, tornado, I whatever. I did a stupid counter, but the fact is like, that is not a safe move because at the end of it, it's, its recovery animation is so slow that I'm definitely going to punish him. I'm definitely going to attack him back before he has a chance to respond. Sorry, I'm. I, yeah, his, I his just. I had to kick you. <laughs> yeah, it is. So uh, safe it would be your usually basic moves um, or combos that when your opponent does block them or gets away from the danger of those moves, they can't return the punishment back to you. Um, it, but usually those safe moves are like. Uh, that was a terrible example. <laughs> Are usually just like, this isn't going to be very devastating, but it's safe. Yeah. Uh, the next terminology that you, some of you will notice that some of the players you might have played against online uh, are a big fan of this. It's called a poke. Ah. Pokes yes. are quick little moves to get some damage going and keep you on your guard quick enough and fast enough that you can get your damage and get out or continue it into a combo. Unfortunately, I just did the same move about four times, but you know, you get the idea. Usually poking is all about uh, your range to your opponent. So right there, those two kicks that I have from Nash, um, that one right there, those are all pokes. They're, they're, they have a decent range to them that's going to be hard to um, punish them um, unless you're on the inside, which most likely, see like that's not a good poke, that has no range. That on the other hand is a good poke. Yeah. <laughs> so, poking. Yeah. Using, taking uh, advantage of range. You're not going to combo from these moves, but you're going to get some good hits off. Um, and it's all about the, the old little, like, one, two, trying mm -hmm. to set up your opponent. 
um, and trying to convince them to make bad decisions. Convince, remind me, I'll go into that one later. Cool. Up next we have Link. Link. Uh, so links are when you chain moves together. So uh, go for it. Uh, if I can, I'm so unfamiliar with Nash. That's so the thing. Like hit, this is kick, like boom. 72 right. hours after. See how the it game says two out. hit. I put a regular move into a super hit, and it turned into a combo. Um, geez, I'm so bad with him. Don't worry about it. Dude. Uh, so don't yell at us. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's uh, the links are when you combine two uh, existing moves together. Uh, and that makes it a link. Uh, right there, that, that's a link right there. You're using two hits and bam, you just got a two hit off of it. That's a link. That is completely different on the other hand than a chain, which would be something more like this. So that is, I used one move and I got multiple hits off of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good chain. <laughs> Yep. Um, so those are your links in your chains. Mm -hmm. Not super important. So like to, to it, it just means combos is basically what it turns up to. And combo means you're hitting somebody more. And in general, the more you're getting hits, the more damage you yeah. take. Very simple. Um, these uh, link chain, and then the third, the the next uh, terminology we're kind of going into are sort of like the intermediate. The level basically this is like where you're really getting into um, the mechanics of the game the next one is actually cross or cross up um, these are actually fun for me this is how I have mostly survived any battle I have with Nathan it's it's the idea of jumping getting a hit in somehow I don't really know Rasheed <laughs> well his moves yeah Rasheed is a little weird it's because his uh, aerials don't have a lot of good room to them okay oh, no. Oh no. Well, okay. Hey, let's watch That is this. not a good example. <laughs> a cross uh, or a cross up is just um uh, Chun Li actually has a kick. move. Oh, you got it. Oh. Oh, right, because they uh, uh they <coughs> changed so that was a cross. Um actually, did it just say cross up? I think it did. Did it really? Oh, hey, it's Thanks, right there. Game. So it's letting me know now. <laughs> hey, uh, it's when I get to the other side of you and you think that you should block in one direction, but now that I'm on the other side of you, you should block the other direction. But you're yep. still confused. Uh, actually, uh, Nash has a built-in cross-up. Oh, uh, yeah. I missed, but... <laughs> I missed. It's that's, that's it. Getting to the other side and hitting them when they're not expecting it from yeah. the other side. That's a cross-up. There you go. Um, now the, uh, well, actually this one's kind of intermediate. Sorry. I have a notebook here in case people are like, what's on his leg? Um, <laughs> the last one is zoning. Oh, zoning. Yeah. Making sure you have your enemy exactly where you want them, whether that be from trying to hit them with some ranged attacks, trying to move in quickly, basically controlling the map yep. and controlling your real estate the way that you want to. Right? Did I get that? That's pretty much it, yeah. Cool. Uh, a good use of zoning would be, uh, oop, not that. A good use of zoning would be range attacks. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use this range attack and his choices are get hit by it, block it, or jump over it. Right. Um, or if you have a built-in mechanic to counter range. And so if I do that, uh, and eventually he, like, he can keep countering that way and I know that he's gonna stay at bay. But if I can, get him to jump over it then i'm putting him closer to me mm -hmm. usually and so now i right i just zoned him i forced him into a location that i wanted him to be in mm -hmm. range are very good with that that's why characters with range attacks like nash rashid uh, uh um ken ryu all of them they have those zone they're very good at zoning because they can shoot you and then when you try to jump over it they counter with like a yeah sure there's always there's always a backup for when that happens well not even a backup there's always a plan for if you jump over a hadoken from a far enough distance something else is going to happen that they've already foresaw um now the last couple of ones are sort of the somewhat more advanced ideas priority reversal and block stun or hit stun priority is going to be a little difficult, difficult. Uh, only difficult to explain because since the game first came out or just has come out we're not familiar with all the priority but some moves have higher priority than others uh, meaning yeah. that when two attacks land mm -hmm. and only one hits that move that that move that you hit with has priority uh, here's a good example okay go ahead and uh, kick right now nope like big kick, big kick. <laughs> All right, so see how I got a counter? 
Yeah. That's because he tried to hit me. I tried to hit him, but my move being a super move had priority over his. Uh, and so I got the hit off and I got a counter, which does a little bit more damage and gets mm-hmm. you more points if you're playing with points. Um, and so that is that is a good example of priority. Um, two moves hitting, one has priority. Um, yeah. Usually the moves that have high priority are generally going to be, a, a, they're going to be, you know, have downsides in other ways. Um, yeah. There's a lot of balance in every single move. It's very impressive. Yeah. Uh, next would be reversal. That was a bad example. I am sorry. The idea, <laughs> the best way to explain a reversal is hitting a move as you are getting up. I'm, I just crush countered you. But see, bam. Boom. He got hit as he's getting up. He immediately went into a move. He immediately went into a, a reversal. Sometimes it can be done from just your basic buttons. Sometimes you have to, you, you have to do a, a, a special move in order to do it. You can also follow it up with, uh, oh, not like that. I'm just, I don't actually know what his is. That's not it. You hit a re- but I got a reversal. Showed a reversal. It showed me a reversal. Yeah. So that 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 is an example. I don't know what his. Oh. So it does. It's do. not just getting up. It's not lift just from up. taking damage. That's okay. So that was. We were wondering actually about that. If yeah. that was the case, and I guess it is. Hey, thank you, game, for answering <laughs> yeah, that for right. us. Street Fighter um, has has developed a little bit over the time. So yes. yeah, in general, when you get hit, if you can do some type of repost uh, counter attack. Yeah. And finally, we have block stun and hit stun. Yes. That one I'm really leaving to you. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so um, go ahead and block. i got to hit you, though. I, I'm not yelling at you. Okay, no, so, like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting him, and it's bouncing him back a little bit, but he can probably actually counterattack, right? I actually couldn't react fast enough to that. So that means that I had very low um, block stun on that. Because he blocked it, he was able to react very quickly and punish me for it. However, um, if I had, uh, I think, a uh, low block, um, I think that's that's far enough to where his he was stunned a little bit from blocking that, that he couldn't punish me appropriately. Um, so some attacks have better uh, stun block, and then, of course, there's hit stun, which is when they get hit. Go ahead. See how, like... Go ahead. Right, there's a time obviously that I'm mm-hmm. attacked. I'm not able to hit him right back, and that is a hit stun. Hit stun is important because the more an attack hit stuns your opponent, the more likely that attack is going to be able to chain and link, link into another one. So um, yeah, it's 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 kind of like the the uh, how much uh, um, f- or how much uh, fuel burns and how much energy you get out of it. I'm able to do a low punch and get like two hits off of that, or a, a weak one, just it, because I'm able to stun you more than it's actually taking me time to do that move. Yeah. So. And finally, because you mentioned it earlier, convince. Convince. Um, so a convince would be a good example of like when I was using those, and I, I want him to do that, right? I want him to jump over it. So if I keep spamming these, then I'm going to get him to do the move that I want. If I keep doing these moves over and over again, it, it, he'll he'll start to see those patterns, and I will convince him to take a specific strategy that I'm prepared for. It's a it's more of a tactical it's, terminology. It's a, yes, it's term. a tactical terminology, very very much in the mindset of the player. Um, if I can convince you to play by a certain style, then I'm controlling the match, and then I have what some would consider tempo. Hmm. I like um, it. So uh, th- those are just basic terms. There's a lot more that we're not using. Um, um, no, there was one more that I actually was like, oh, we should really talk about this. Um, oh, geez, what was it? It was... Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> You're so helpful. I am. Um, uh, how helpful I am? <laughs> <laughs> Suplex. You suck. That was like the perfect taunt for that what was. I was trying to do. That was great. <laughs> I hate you for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I say to you. You nervous? Are you? No. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. So, yeah, those are some of the basic ter- well, basic intermediate and advanced terminology that is usually associated with Street Fighter. Yeah. There um, are as we said, there are more. Yeah. And and uh, feel free to put them in the comments yeah. below if we didn't mention anything that you felt really needs to be mentioned. Yeah. You know what? I feel like that could sort of take the place of question of the day at this point. Yeah. What uh what other uh, other terms um, are good in gaming that have 
introductory terms that people can sort of research and understand as they learn how to play a fighting game like this. Yeah, pretty specific question, but yeah. I like it. All right, well, tune in next time. There's more Street Fighter to be had. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was bad. <laughs> you loved it. <laughs>